A lot of questions about Jake Brendel because Alex Mack retired, and I believe Kyle Shanahan spoke to the media today for the first time since that was official. And a lot of questions about Brendel because he's taken all the snaps at center so far this offseason. And I just assume that Brunskill is going to become the center once he's healthy in, tra- in training camp, but maybe I'm wrong because oh, Kyle couldn't praise Br- Jake Brendel enough. And what he what stuck at the most important part of the praise is that Chris Forster, the offensive line coach, pretty much is the reason Brendel's on the team. He brought him over from Miami. So this is Brendel is Forster's pet project, if you will, going back years. He's been coaching Brendel for years. And he says he believes that Brendel's the truth, that Brendel's really good. Kyle Shanahan today said that Brendel has far exceeded expectations. This really, really scares me. It troubles me because I'm sure Brendel's really smart. He went to UCLA. I'm sure he's really smart. He's a 29-year-old vet who went to UCLA. He's been in the offense for a few years. I'm sure he knows it inside and out. I'm sure in the meeting room, he's flawless. I'm sure in practice, he's good or good enough. He's played six snaps the last three years in real games. He started three games in his career. I don't care how good he is in practice. How can you just say, well, we like him. I mean, I guess the Niners are saying, well, you know, if we're doing it with Trey Lance, why not do it at center too? Fair. Also, if Jake Brendel flops, they can always move Daniel Brunskill there. But doesn't this feel a lot like 2020 when they talk themselves into another practice? I mean, Brendel's a practice squad guy, in my opinion. I know he was on the Niners team last year, but he's a fringe practice squad guy. He's the 53rd guy on your roster. In 2020, Weston Richburg was hurt. Ben Garland was hurt. The Niners talked themselves into Hronis Grasu, a practice squad guy, being good enough to start. And he wasn't. He was awful. And midway through the season, they benched him and brought in Daniel Brunskill, who was barely passable as a center. Is that going to happen again? That's not fair to Trey Lance. I don't know. You'd think you'd want some stability at the center position. Again, though, this is, to me, the issue here is not... They didn't fix it this year. This is, they gave Alex Mack a three-year deal and really thought he was going to honor all three years of it. Really? Wow. Why'd you think that? That was a miscalculation. They banked on getting three years out of an older offensive lineman. They were wrong. Had they been more realistic and invested in someone younger last year, like a draft pick, like Creed Humphrey, like a free agent who was younger than 36, they wouldn't be in this. They wouldn't be in the Jake Brendel. They wouldn't be up there saying, yeah, Jake Brendel really has a lot of promise. They just have a a good center who's still on the team. So I don't really understand what happened last year. They traded for Trey Lance. They were going to do the rebuild. They were going to do the reload. And all of a sudden they bring in all their, their vets back and sign Alex Mack to a three-year deal, and they're surprised when he retires? Wow. Anyway, I'd regret to inform you that the Niners are really serious. They're really trying to make Jake, Jake Brendel a thing. And I hate to to talk, you know, I'm not talking down on a fellow, fellow Bruin, but let's be frank here. He's not exactly a high, highly sought-after player in the NFL. There are probably better options out there than Jake Brendel, but... The Niners still haven't gotten rid of Jimmy Garoppolo, so they're going to actually try to, with a straight face, say that this is the best option for the 49ers. I, I, I don't see it. I'm not sold. Sonny says, how is Trey not your favorite player after his adorable performance? You don't say you don't have a favorite player. I do. I, I love Trey Lance. He's a lot of fun to interview. Uh, he's great. He's wonderful. Definitely among my favorite players, for sure. 